For all you paranoid people out there that think you're bugged, I'm about to tell you some stuff. Hello everyone, this is Bob at Spy Geek with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about this, a little RF wireless signal wand. These are $295 anywhere you go, that's a nationwide price. If you see that any cheaper, please let me know and I'll get on the boys about that. Now the reason you're going to buy from us is because I'm going to tell you everything about this thing. I'm going to tell you stuff the instructions don't know. I'm going to tell you stuff the manufacturer don't know. Yeah? Are you still there? For all you paranoid people out there that think you're bugged, I'm about to tell you some stuff. Alright, get your notepads ready. Stand by. Alright, the first thing we're going to try and pick up on is a router. Everybody has a router in their house. See this? See that? The bug detector is picking up on the router. Watch when I move away, see it go away. When I get close, look at that. So the first thing you have to do when you're doing a sweep is turn off your router. Unplug the thing from the wall. This is transmitting 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. It's a dual band router. This will make your bug detector go off. The other thing you want to turn off and unplug, unplug the base from the wall. It's a cordless phone. Look, when I turn the cordless phone on here, look, it makes my bug detector go off. It doesn't mean I'm bugged, it just means it's a cordless phone. Alright, see I move away, it goes away. I get close, there it is. So turn off all your cordless phones. Alright, this one should be obvious guys, but turn off your cell phones too. This puts out radio frequency. Tracking devices and cell phones all transmit on a cell phone network. Turn those things completely off or put it in airplane mode. All right, the way this thing works is you take it out of the box, you put one AA battery in here, screw on the top, and that's where the power button is. Just press that, a green light comes on, it makes a slight vibration, the orange lights flash, and if you turn it around, that's where your bar graph is. So a little about the modes here. Okay, if you press the mode button real hard, you see that orange light comes on that puts it in vibration mode so if you're picking up on any radio frequency it'll vibrate and the lights will also flash too alright you press that button again and then it goes to audio mode and it makes a real faint little sound I don't know if you can hear there but if you're getting close to your radio frequency it'll, it'll make a little sound with the lights but I suggest don't do any of that when you turn it on just use the lights the reason being if someone's bugging you and they hear something beeping coming towards their bug they might turn it off so just use the lights all right another button here is this little desensitizing button it says ATT if you press that the little blue light comes on and that desensitizes the bar graph a little bit and to where if you're in an area where there's a lot of cell phones and you can't get the bar graph to go down to do your accurate sweep you want to press that desensitizing button all right, but if you're out in an area where there's not a lot of radio frequency, you can just leave it off. All right. Now we're going to test some different transmitters. We've already tested a router and a cordless phone. Now let's try a cell phone. With a cell phone, look, it's picking up on it. Even if I desensitize it. Still pin up, picking up on the cell phone. When I turn the cell phone off and then put it in airplane mode so it's not transmitting anything anymore. There, look at all the lights go away. So it was definitely picking up on my cell phone. This is the same thing that a GPS puts out. A GPS is just like a cell phone. It's transmitting to the cell phone tower then to the satellite to get your coordinates. You have to be moving of course. But a cell phone, it's kind of always transmitting, even when you're not making a call. See, if I turn airplane mode back off, look, it's picking up on stuff, and I'm not even on a call right now. So, yeah. It'll pick up on cell phones and tracking devices. Next, we'll test an FM transmitter. Alright, here we have an FM transmitter bug. This would transmit about a quarter of a mile to an FM radio. You could sit down the street and listen to it on 88 megahertz. No, we don't sell these. This is just to test the equipment. And you see right when I connect the battery, 
the lights go on on the bug detector right down here. So there you go, it's picking up an FM transmitting bug. 88 megahertz. You gotta be within a couple inches to pick up on it. Alright, we'll try something else. Alright, here we have the real deal. This is a real bug. It's known as a five-day transmitter. It would transmit to this receiver. This one, you could be a half mile down the street. For all you tech heads, look, that's a real KZ100 made from Microtech in Japan with a matching B transmitter. These are not for sale. Law enforcement only can have these. So um, we use these to test our equipment. And you see the bug detector is on, there's no lights, but right when I turn this little bug on... Alright, there we go. See, the lights come on. Now I'll leave it here and just show you how far away you have to be to pick up. Now it looks like about a foot away. So this transmitter is on UHF. It transmits on 398.605. So we're getting across the bandwidth here. And this bug detector is picking up everything. It's definitely worth the money. We'll try something else. Alright, here we have a wireless camera that transmits on 900 megahertz. And if I bring the bug detector close to it, look at that. It definitely picks up on a wireless camera too. That's awesome. I think my power's cutting out. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely picking up on this. Alright guys, that concludes our test. We've tested this bug detector with a lot of devices. An FM transmitter, a wireless camera, a UHF transmitter, 398.605, a cell phone. We've also tested on a router. See, it picks up on a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz router. It picks up on a cordless phone. So this thing works on everything. This is a good bug detector. I definitely recommend this for doing your sweeps as long as you use it accurately. Remember that desensitize button. All right, again, these are $295 on our website. Thank you for watching our videos. You can call 407-696-2779 if you have any questions. Have a good one, guys.